Hi guys! Um, so this week is Harry Potter week and I'm going to do the Harry Potter Q&A and then at the end I'm going to talk a little bit about LeakyCon and how much fun that was because it was really 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 fun. Okay so let's get started. Okay, my house. Ravenclaw. My favourite character from the trio. This is really really hard. I, I'm going to go with Hermione. But I would put Harry a very, very close second. Um, it was really, really hard for me to pick between the two of them. And not that I don't like Ron, but I just don't think Ron is my favourite. I think he's definitely my least favourite of the three. I don't know, I feel like we're all going to pick Hermione, probably. Oh well. Three other favourite characters. Um, Ron, Luna and Dumbledore is what I went with. Because they were the first two that came to mind that, was, that I really, really loved. I'm thinking about it now. Oh, serious? Ron, Luna, and Dumbledore. They're my final three. Um, my least favorite character, like Voldemort. Like I don't like hate any of the nice ones. So like Voldemort or on bridge or someone like that, like someone that you're not meant to like. My favourite book, I think Deathly Hallows. Um, here's a story. Abby already knows this. Um, I got Deathly Hallows the day that it came out, the morning that it came out, and I read up to where Hedwig died, and then I had to like pause to like collect myself after Hedwig died because I was really upset about it. And then I went on the internet and literally everything was spoiled for me so I knew exactly what happened and I was like do you know what there's like I don't need to read it now and I kind of was annoyed and just put it down and I didn't pick it back up again until 2010 when I finished it I finished it just before the film came out it took me three years to read the last Harry Potter book and I call myself a Harry Potter fan how embarrassing but yeah I think Death Hell is, is my favourite book maybe it's because I read it so recently um, I also really like Order of the Phoenix and I like Peter Rascal a lot too. Um, one favourite moment, that's so difficult because there's so many um, and I kind of associate a lot of the good moments with moments from the film and like how they look off them. Like the first time they see Hogwarts in the book it's just, like, it's not, it's better when you see them seeing Hogwarts for the first time so, um, but that's one of my favourite moments. And I also really, really loved um, the Tale of the Three Brothers in the movie, in the second to last film. I just really liked the whole of the second to last film. I don't think there is a favourite film question, but if we had to pick one, it would probably be that one. And I know people, I know Abby really likes it, but I know people don't because it's like boring and not that much happens, but I think it's fantastic. I think it's like really got the kind of feeling of their feelings at the time right. So I think. It was a really, really good film, and I watch it a lot. Um, how I was introduced to the series. Um, I got the first book as like a prize at the end of primary school. For I got like a you know you get merit points. I got like a hundred, and then you get a hundred, and you get a book. We got to pick a book, and I picked Harry Potter. Also, my f first edition of the first book. It's not first edition, but my first copy of the first book is one of the only ones I've seen that's got Quirrell on the back. Um, and that Dumbledore. Um, that's not interesting, but I like that about my first book is that it's got Quirrell on the back. I think it's meant to be Quirrell, like he's not wearing a turban, but it's, it couldn't be anyone else because he's got like, he just looks like Quirrell. What would my favourite lesson be? Um, I really think I would have liked so many of them. Um, like I think I would have really liked potions, but probably not with Snape, but I think potions would be really, really cool. Um, but I think... I'm going to go with charms because just there's, there's, there's so many charms. Favourite professor. Um, I think Flitwick seems really, really sweet. Like, I would have liked McGonagall, but she's really strict. And, like, if you weren't in a house, I feel like she would be even more strict. And I just think Flitwick would be nice and friendly and cheery and just good to everyone. Which hello would I take? The cloak. Like, the cloak is. I think we're all going to pick the cloak, I imagine. Um, which character am I most like? See, like, I want to say Hermione, but I don't know if I am, like, 
as into like reading for like school as she was. Like I like to read, but I never really liked to read for school. But then maybe I would have if like, I was a witch and like everything was new and exciting. Maybe I would have. Um, I don't know if I'm as brave as Hermione necessarily, and also if I was Hermione, I would have gone for Harry over Ron. <laughs> so maybe I'm not as much like Hermione as I think I am, but. I think she's probably the closest to me. Three spells I'd like to be able to perform. Um, the app is it's not a spell, but I'd like to be able to operate, so I'm gonna sneakily include that because I really want to be able to operate. Um, Reparo, because I think, or Reparo, I don't know how you say it. Um, just because you'd be able to, nothing would ever break, and it'd be amazing. Um, and Accio or Accio, because I'm lazy. Would I have put my name in the Goblet of Fire? No. Would I have played Quidditch? Um, I would have wanted to, but I am not athletic at all. I have no sporting ability, so I doubt I would have been picked for the team. Um, and also, it's like really quite an aggressive sport, so... I don't know. But if I had played it, I think I would have wanted to be a seeker, because that's just the best position. What form will my Patronus take? Like like a meerkat or a squirrel or something like small and inquisitive I think. Maybe a squirrel. I really like squirrels. What would my profession be in the wizarding world? Um, I think I'd like to be a Hogwarts professor. We don't know that much about what professions there are, like basically you can work at the ministry or you can work at Hogwarts or you can work at St Mungo's and that's it. Um, so I think I would have liked to be a Hogwarts professor and I'm going to go back to my early answer and say charms. Charms professor. I think I would have really liked that job. Um, and that's it, that's all the questions. So I'm going to talk a little bit about LeakyCon. Um, it was so much fun. I think my favourite moment was probably the ball on the Saturday night, because it was just really just so much fun and I wish like I could go to a ball just like that like every two weeks, because <laughs> it was just amazing. Um, I really liked all the panels and some of them weren't great, but they were all kind of thought provoking I guess. Yeah there were a couple of panel moments that were kind of awkward but like we laughed about them together so that was fun. Um, all the star kid stuff was amazing and just everything seemed to kind of go right for the whole weekend which was really really great. The breakfast on the last day was great. The queuing was not so great. I don't really want to go on too much about it because I think there's going to be quite a lot of overlap in what we say about Leakygon. So I think we all had a really, really great time. Um, so yeah, it was amazing. And if it was coming back there next year, I would go, even though I cannot afford to buy food and alone, um, I would find a way to get the like, tickets again. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll come back the year after next. I would like to go again. I hope you guys would, because it was just so much fun. It was just a really, really nice environment and everyone was really friendly and it was just good. It was a really, really good four days. Um, and I had a great time, um, especially with you guys, so yeah, I would really like to do it again. Okay, I'm going to end this here because I've run out of things to say, so see you next week. I'm really excited to watch all your videos about Harry Potter. Um, bye guys! <laughs>